Right guys, I'm back and we got two articles in the Telegraph today taking pride of place at the top of their website. These ones here are worth talking about because once again they make us all bloody mystic Meg. Of course we can't take credit for it given how obvious it all was because remember following the science wasn't following the science, it was following the agenda and nothing more. This we knew in March 2020 when the government decided on lockdowns to save the NHS which would naturally result in it being overwhelmed with people waiting for treatment and cause many to die in the coming years. This along with stopping people mixing did nothing to stop any virus but it did help destroy the immune systems of many people as did other measures we can't even talk about here on YouTube. Fuck pigs. Today though it seems the Telegraph is asking the question that many people have been asking for a while and it's relating to the fact that SS deaths are up this year and they're up to the point where they will soon boot deaths from bat flu this year itself. I don't fucking believe it. You better believe it. Because it's fucking happening. Yep, they will soon beat the Covid numbers it's being reported which obviously means the excess deaths themselves are not due to Covid but down to something else. This should really see political Ed's role considering no matter what way you swing it this is down to the government and parliament's decisions because while the government fought up the laws parliament always passed them we gotta remember. This means that they take the blame alongside the medical and media tosspots who pushed it with them. Now it should be said that some of the excess deaths may have been something to do with safe and effective medical treatments but I doubt they'll ever see an admission of that even if the government's own figures have shown worrying data relating to it. At this point though whatever's causing these deaths makes our elected politicians and the media itself responsible because they pushed this madness for nearly two years. They used bum figures and military psychological warfare tactics to scare sheeple into submission as they lied through their back teeth literally on an hourly basis. Looking back at some of what they said now actually makes me laugh to think that people believed it but of course they bloody did. Some absolute fucking retards clapped outside their asses on a Thursday night while NHS doctors and nurses danced in TikTok videos to the embarrassment of the nation. Yep, funnily enough, it's the same idiots there who claim furlough cash that's now complaining about inflation and shit like that that was caused by printing money for furlough and lockdowns to save the NHS. I would say you couldn't make it up, but clearly someone has and people followed along with it so that statement wouldn't be true. Now really articles like this should be shocking to everyone but given the fact we could see it coming we're sitting here just saying I told you so. In fact this is happening a lot recently it's gotta be said.